On day one, I spawned inside of a small lush cave as a baby elemental spider. But all of my spider people were fleeing away in a hurry as skeletons shot them down one by one. Oh my goodness, why is this happening? Son, you're elemental? Quick, all of us spiders are in danger. We need to go. We quickly began to climb up the cave wall with the rest of my people. I witnessed death after death as the spiders fell to the skeleton's arrows. And I quickly realized I was next. Oh no! In my panic, I shot out a fireball directly at the skeleton, causing him to run away in panic. Fozo, you have elemental powers. That's it. But as my mother said this, she was hit. No! Mom! Ha <laughs> ha! Soon, I will have enough string for my entire skeleton army. You monster! Son, you're our last hope. Leave now! I made it to the top of the cave, but it was an ambush. Kill them all for the Skull King! All of the skeletons began shooting at us, and I escaped through a small cave hole. On day two, I crawled out of the hole and found myself in the middle of a forest. My people are all in danger. I have to find a way to help them. As I said this, a couple of OP looking players spotted me. Dude, that's one strange looking spider. Chop, dude. Let's see what it drops. Huh? The players pulled out their weapons and began to charge after me. Ah! I quickly started to evade them through the trees, using my small size to my advantage. But they were definitely experienced. I kept running and running until I realized, am I running on water? How many powers do I have? What the? Dude, it has powers. Hold on. This is amazing. But just then, I fell down into the water. Oh no, it looks like I can't control them yet. I looked back to see that the players were charging at me in boats. And I was captured. On day three, I was brought into the player's base. Ah! Hey, let me go. Come on, dude. Let's go get our looting three sword. No, this can't be the way I go out. Just then, I heard a bark and saw a tiny dog right outside of my cage. Hi, I'm Marvin. And I'm the player's guard dog. You seem a little small, Tabia. Yeah, I know. I hardly guard anything. The players just tend to forget about me and leave me here sitting for weeks. By the way, can't you just climb out of this? Oh, right. Uh, thanks. I quickly climbed out of the pen and started making my way out of their base. But just then, the player walked back out with his enchanted sword. Oh, oh no you don't. They rushed out of the base after me as I climbed the nearest tree. Stop running and just die. He was swinging at me as I jumped from treetop to treetop until I came across a strange looking wet. Is it made out of fire? Whoa. I walked forward and touched it, causing me to master my fire element. I now had 10 hearts and felt the fire element was empowered within me. I feel so much stronger. On day four, I jumped down from the trees with a newly found confidence. There's that freaky looking spider. Get him! They charged in, but I was now able to shoot out fire webs at will. Whoa! I instantly trapped one of the players, and they burnt down to a crisp. Cha! You'll pay for that! The remaining player charged in with his diamond axe, trying to take me down. But thanks to my newly found power, he didn't stand a chance. Hot! Hot! You'll regret this! <laughs> That's right! Don't mess with the elemental spider! With that, I began to search throughout the player's base for any gear I could use to save my people. But as I went to open a chest, I was stopped. Marvin, you're still here? Yep, forgotten like always. Hey, it looks like you found one of the elemental webs. Yeah. Wait, there are others? Of course. There are supposedly spider webs out there in the world that each represent a specific element. I've heard they've existed for decades. They must be connected to me. If I find the rest, maybe I could be strong enough to save my people. 
On day five, Marvin and I formed a team. We found a nearby coastal island and quickly got to work building up a safe place to stay. I built up a small home within a cave while Marvin had built himself a doghouse next to the shore. Uh, finally, I can move around. Uh, I didn't realize how much I missed that. I'm glad you're happy, Marvin. All right, now let's talk strategy. <laughs> what is that? A bone? <laughs> Marvin sprinted out of our base. No, hey, get back here. I chased after the small dog, but I can tell he was determined. Bird! It wasn't long until I caught up to him. Aha! But there in front of us were two skeletons overlooking a river. Fire! They shot out a poisonous arrow in the water, killing all of the creatures inside. Ooh. The spider's venom worked. Let's keep upgrading our bows. In time, we will strike. And no one will be ready when we do. The skeletons all marched out of the area. What are they planning? I have to find out. I went into the water to see all of the damage they had done. This is just horrible. But just as I submerged under the water, a hammerhead shark swam up as well. Yeah. You did this. What? No, it was the liar. On day six, I was swimming through the river with the hammerhead shark right on my tail. Ah, leave me alone. I was panicking and the shark was gaining on me fast. He bit me with his powerful jaws and my vision began to blur. I awoke on an unfamiliar shoreline. And as I did, a coral enderman teleported in front of me. Ah, what the heck? My pet has reported that you were damaging our waters. I looked over and saw that their pet was the hammerhead shark. Dude, who has that as a pet? I was then quickly teleported on top of a waterfall. Whoa, 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 whoa. For your crimes, you shall be pushed off and killed. Oh, uh, wait. Wait, I wasn't the one who hurt the river. It was the skeletons. Oh, why didn't you just say so? We teleported back down to safety. Phew. I then saw a whole group of coral endermen. And there in the middle of the cove was the water web. Another elemental web for the taking. I was about to swim over, but the enderman teleported in front of me. Oh, so you want this water web, do you? Yeah, I'm kind of a spider, you know. Well, there's only one way I'll let you. Come along now. I followed him to an empty pedestal near a trail leading out of the cove. Recently, the coral pearl has been stolen. And without it, one of the coral endermen in the water suddenly transformed into a regular one and died. That's unfortunate. We have all started to lose our water powers and we die if we touch water. So go out and find our pearl. Then we will let you use the web. On day seven, I followed the trail until I arrived at a flooded village. All of the villagers were walking around, looking like they barely survived an intense battle. What happened here? I felt so bad for them. So I used my fire element to turn all of the source water blocks into cobblestone. And done. Would you look at that? A strange looking spider helping us? Thank you. Of course. Hey, what happened here? As I asked this, a large splash of water erupted behind me. And there teleporting in was a water pillager. That's what happened. Ah! The pillager began to charge in and attack me with deadly splashes of water. Now it was clear to me who stole the coral pearl. I was fighting back against him with everything I had and the villager even helped out as well. Take this, you big nose freak. Together, we were able to take him down. Whoa, he dropped a coral map and it leads right to their outpost. I bet that's where the pearl is. Thank you for all of the help. Take this. The villager threw me over a set of iron armor. Thanks. I quickly equipped it and followed the map until arriving at the water pillager outpost. And there in its center was the coral pearl. On day eight, I climbed my way over their wall and made it onto the outpost. 
Unfortunately for me, the water pillagers were occupied, building up their pillager ship. The coral pearl is for the taking. I crawled up the outpost and was able to collect it at the top. Aha! I did it! But I celebrated a little too loudly. Thief! Oh no! Before I could run, one of the pillagers ran up and hit me off of the outpost. Ah! I landed in a strange pool of water. Why is this here? Oh no. In an instant, a shark-like ravager came charging towards me. Ah! Wait, did I just teleport out? This coral pearl is sick. The ravager was frustrated and charged at me again. So I teleported again right out of the water. Aha, can't get me now, can you? I looked around and saw the pillagers were surrounding me. But because I had the pearl, they transformed back into regular pillagers. Give us back our pearl now. No, you stole this. So I'm taking it. You don't understand. We had nowhere else to go. We took that pearl so that we can move to the ocean where the skeletons can't find us. Wait, the skeletons are after you too? Yes, they want our arrows, our crossbows, everything. I'm so sorry. Look, I need this pearl, but I just might have an idea on how you all can stay safe. On days 9 to 10, I returned back to the Coral Enderman's Cove, and all of them had transformed into normal Endermen. This sucks, man! Don't worry, guys. I quickly went over and placed the Coral Pearl down on the pedestal, which transformed them back. They were all so happy now, swimming around with joy. Marco! Bolo! Yes, you actually did it! Please, go ahead! The water web is yours! With that, I swam down and touched the water web. Because of this, I grew in size again. I now had 15 hearts and mastered my water element. Sweet! It's good to see someone has been chosen to form the elemental web. The what? You are a very important spider, Fozo. The elemental web has been told as a legend for who knows how long. With all the elements, you can weave it together and it will grant anyone with power never seen before. Whoa, good to know. With that, I left the cove and headed back to my base, where I saw Marvin on guard outside, chewing on a bone. What's up? Ha, huh. ha, <laughs> I'm glad you were able to find a bone. On days 11 to 12, Marvin and I made it back home, only to see the pillagers from before waiting for us. Huh, it's about time! Oh, I'm glad you all made it here safely. With that, I quickly got to work, building them up their own pillager home. After that, I took the time to build up a statue of my mom to remember what exactly I was fighting for. I promise, Mom, I'll stop those skeletons. <laughs> I'm glad two guard dogs can get along. <laughs> As Marvin howled out, beastly plants came out bursting out of the ground. Ouch! Ah, hey! With my firewebs, I was able to burn them back into the ground. Then, from a sprout left behind, flew up a glowing golden butterfly? The jungle, it has chosen you, elemental spider. Prove your wit and be granted the earth spider web. Whoa, you're on. The glowing butterfly darted out of my base and I quickly followed behind. On days 13 to 14, I was following right behind the butterfly, but then I saw a skeleton creeping inside of a cave. What are they up to? I left the butterfly as I followed him inside, only to see the skeletons here were using the other spiders as mounts, and the ones that weren't were put into cages. This is cruel, my people. I snuck my way through the cave until I was able to see the Skull King looking down, and there next to him was my mother. There you are. The jungle waits for no man. Shh. Okay, okay. I looked back towards my people. I promise I'll soon be strong enough to stop all of this. So I left, now filled with more determination. My king, king, an elemental spider was just here. An elemental spider? Follow him. My dear boy, what are you doing? I chased after the butterfly until we made it to the edge of the large, dense jungle. At the center, the web awaits. Good luck. 
okay, it shouldn't be that bad, right? But as I looked around, I saw there were more and more of those beastly plants throughout the jungle floor. On days 15 to 16, I quickly climbed up the nearest jungle tree because I knew if I went through on the ground, I was a goner. Huh. I think I have an idea. With my mastery over the water element, I can now walk on water at will. Ah, gotta love being elemental. With this, I was able to go further into the jungle, using its river as a clear pathway. From there, I was able to make it to the center, but a fort wall blocked my path. Halt, trespasser! The little creatures started throwing spears at me from on top of the wall. Ow, hey! I was trying my best to dodge, but they were very accurate. In my frustration, I shot out a fire web, which caught one of them on fire. Ow! Hi! Hi! Wait a second! That's the elemental spider! Uh, let him through, dude! We literally challenged him! Oh! That's right! The fort gates opened, and in front of me was the elemental earth web. I rushed in to go touch it, but then I was shoved to the side! Ouch! Looking over, I saw that between me and the web was the creature's leader. Oh, the elemental spider! You finally made it! On days 17 to 18, I was brought over to a starting line? In front of you lies our famous this jungle race, designed to be one of the toughest ever made. I know of your powers and wish for you to be a protector to my tomb people. If I win this race, you will do just that. But if you win, you can take the earth web. Do you accept? I'm guessing I don't really have a choice. All right, let's do this. The two of us lined up at the start as one of the tombs yelled out, Begin! With that, we began the race, but he unexpectedly turned right, huh? I quickly climbed up the trees and started to hop from treetop to treetop. I can't lose! But as I looked down, I saw the tomb leader was running through a clear path, leading straight to the finish line. He must have planned this from the start. Start. This race is rigged. I have to think fast. I tried to catch up to him and used a precise shot of my firewebs to trap him to the jungle floor. What? No! While he was trapped, I managed to cross the finish line. Yes, I did it. Fine. I am a tomb of my word. You can have our earth web. But just then, we heard the sound of yelling. I spun around to see smoke coming back from the tomb's fort. No! No! On days 19 to 21, the leader and I made it back as fast as we could. But the entire fort was being destroyed by the skeletons. Did they follow me here? Where is the elemental spider? I tried to make a break for the earth web, but quickly saw it was destroyed. No! Now how? am I supposed to master my elements? Because I was distracted, the skeletons quickly surrounded me with their upgraded bows. Fire! All of the skeletons together were about to take me out, but the tomb leader dropped down in front of me. What are you? Hold on! He shot out an attack. That caused the jungle floor below us to open up. Ah! Ow! Hurry, come with me. They're going to follow. I did as he said, and we quickly escaped to the outskirts of the jungle. My people, they're all gone. Those skeletons did this. I know. I've been trying to take them down. They have my people. But without the earth web, that may be impossible now. There may be a way we can make another. Follow me. On days 22 to 26, I followed the tomb leader until we reached a strange looking ruins. Enter here, complete the ritual, and you will be allowed to summon anything within the jungle. Whoa, thank you, thank you so much. I gave the tomb leader the coordinates to my base and we split ways. As I went ahead inside, I saw that it was shut. You wanna open this, huh? Huh? Who said that? I looked up and saw two creeper statues over the entryway. Wait, you guys can talk? Yep, we can. Now you have to make a choice. Pick blue or red. And whoever you choose is what ritual trial you're gonna face, okay? Oh, pick me, pick me. 
Don't you just love the color blue? Don't be a sucker, man. Red is the way to go. Come on. I, uh, choose red. Ha! Suck it, blue. That's five in a row. I, I, I mean, uh, good luck. <laughs> the red side of the entrance opened up. Okay, here goes nothing. I quickly headed inside until making it to an open temple room. And at its center was a jungle tree. Oh, mighty tree of this jungle. Can I please have the earth web? But as I wish this, its roots spread throughout the floor. And out from them came four hostile tree beings. Prove your strength or die trying. On days 27 to 29, the wood beings charged in towards me. Bring it. I charged right at them as well as we clashed at the center. They had crazy jungle and earth powers and would use the tree's resources to their advantage. Yeah! I countered by shooting out my water element at them, but it just caused them to grow. Oh, come on. You know, Blue, I wonder how that spider's doing. Ah! Ouch! Ah! Stay back! No! Eh, I bet he's fine. Now, come on, let's continue our game of I Spy. Okay, enough playing nice. I shot my fire at the beings, which dealt extra damage to them. They tried to run to the roots for more power, but I leapt up on the tree and shot at the roots with my fire webs. Because of this, the tree beings caught on fire and burnt down to a crisp. Aha! Take that! Am I strong enough now? The entire temple and tree then lit up as its voice rang out. You have earned one wish to summon anything from the jungle. I wish for the earth elemental web. Please! Because of my wish, the tree itself transformed and turned into the earth elemental web. That's what I'm talking about. I walked up and touched it, which caused me to grow yet again. I was way stronger and now had 20 hearts. Whoa, I now have full control of the earth element. I wonder what I could do now. But as I said this, I was pulled into a vision. On days 30 to 32, I looked around and was now in a battle-torn village. Not only were villagers running around frantically, but spiders and all of the friends I've made along the way were here as well. The time has finally come, and that elemental spider is nowhere to be seen. Kill them all! The skeletons were extremely powerful and were clearly going to win the fight. No, no! I was suddenly pulled back into the temple. Ah, was that the future? And why wasn't I there? I can't let that happen. I walked out of the temple and once I was outside of its doors, an arrow was shot at me. Ah, what the? It was stuck to the wall and on it was a note. It read, we are watching. Watching. Beware? What the? Who wrote this? I better keep an eye out. On days 33 to 35, I made it safely back to my base to see that the tomb leader found his way here too. Hey, you did it! At least my tribe's sacrifices weren't for nothing. It wasn't, and I'll make sure of that. So from there, I took the time to build him up his own little jungle hut with a special food bowl for his beetle mount. Beetles eat food like this, right? If he does it, I'll have it! Marvin started sprinting over to the bowl, but just before he devoured the beetle's food, he was distracted by snowfall? Huh? How is it snowing on our island? Does it have to do with the ice element? As I said this though, Marvin started to chase the snowfall out of the base. <laughs> It tickles. Marvin, hey, wait up. It could be dangerous. On days 36 to 39, I chased Marvin out of the base as he was mesmerized by the snow. Dude, snap out of it. Uh, I never seen snow before. He continued to run into a tundra. Stop. In my anger, I used my newly mastered earth element to create a wall of blocks in front of him, stopping him in his tracks. Whoa. Sorry, Fozoa. I don't know what came over me. Then Marvin's nose picked up on something. <laughs> huh? You smell that? <laughs> that smells familiar. We followed Marvin's nose to a creepy cave deep in the tundra. I smell something similar to you in here, but my nose is pretty cloggy. 
while this cold. There's so many tunnels though. Without your nose, what are we gonna do? But as I said this, my eyes looked over and I realized with my earth element, I could now see through blocks. Whoa, I have x-ray vision. I could see the shape of other spiders within the ice cave. Wait, my people? I ran in and found them cowering in the back of the tunnel. They all looked so weak. Oh no, guys, what happened? Shush, 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 shush. You might wake the beast. Huh? What are you talking about? Just then, I heard a loud, aggressive... That beast! On days 40 to 44, I followed the echoes until I found a cave tunnel. And there, in the distance, was a large ice beast. Thankfully, it was seemingly going to sleep. Whoa. Yeah, after we escaped the skeletons and hit here, we realized we were in its territory. It took Charlotte. And just when she got back from scavenging food, she said she saw the elemental ice web. She did? I have to save her. I started to sneak quietly throughout the cavern. Easy does it. That was when I finally saw something. Charlotte was frozen in ice. I'm here to help, Charlotte. I used my wall climbing ability to slowly navigate around the beast without awakening it. Then I quietly used my firewebs to melt the ice around her. Oh, thank you. But she accidentally walked into the fire, causing her to ignite. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Oh no. Because of this, we looked over and the beast had woken up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> On days 45 to 47, we started running down the frozen tunnels as the beast chased right behind us. Its massive size caused the entire cave to shake. Come on, this way. We turned down a path, and as Charlotte ran by, I shot back at the beast with my firewebs. But he was so strong, it barely slowed him down. Oh no. We continued down the tunnel just as we were cut off by a large crack in the ice. No, the beast was quickly gaining on us. Charlotte, though, without hesitation, swung across the gap. Whoa, we can do that? <laughs> of course, silly. You're a spider first, remember? Oh, right. Just before the beast was able to reach me, I swung across the gap with my own web. Woohoo! That was awesome. Now, safely on the other side, the beast seemed very upset. No fair! Me wanted a spider eye buffet! Gross, dude! We safely made it back to the others, and everyone was so happy to see Charlotte was safe. I'm so happy you finally risen up as the elemental spider, Bozo. Well, someone needs to stand up to the Skull King, and it's gonna be me. Speaking of Charlotte, I heard you found the ice web? Yes, but... It wasn't looking too good. What do you mean? Go north, and once you see the snow golem, well, you'll know what I mean. I quickly told the spiders to head back to my base with Marvin as I followed Charlotte's directions into the tundra. Finally, I saw a small group of snow golems looking at the elemental ice web but it was melting. On days 48 to 52, I approached the golems and the ice web. Wait, is that a lava river in a tundra? Hey, what's going on? Ah, intruder, kill the spider. They all started throwing snowballs at me. They didn't hurt, but it was pretty annoying. Oh, right. Golems hate mobs like me. Guys, would you just... Big bro, help us out! I'm sorry, did you say big bro? Out of nowhere, I was thrown towards the lava river. Ah! I looked back to see a massive buff snow golem. Stay away from us! The large golem was about to throw a chunk of ice directly at me. Wait, 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 look! I shot out a tiny ice block over the lava. See? I I'm just like you! Ah, the elemental spider we've heard of what you've done for this world you are welcome here oh thanks i'm sorry we attacked you you see my people have guarded this ice web for centuries and 
we have never abandoned our post. But recently, it's like the land has turned against us. Every river has turned into lava. Everything is melting. Oh no. What if I can find a way to stop whatever's causing this and restore the ice web? Then can I take its power? Of course. You have my word. On days 53 to 56, I followed the lava rivers throughout the tundra towards their source. And there was even more melting. This can't be good. The lava flows led me up to a peak where a large lava pool was. And at its center was an active nether portal. What the heck is this doing here? As I said this, two skeletons walked up and headed inside of it. What are they up to? No, wait, focus. I have to stop the lava flow. Using my earth element, I started to pull the earth up at the mouths of each river, blocking them from their lava source. And that should do it. I looked out and shot water all over to turn the lava rivers into obsidian. Aha! Take that, stupid lava. Now, let's see how those skeletons react when I break their portal. But as I walked towards it, they came back out. And behind them was a massive wither skeleton. Here you are, Mr. Bounty Hunter, sir. Our soon to be ruled overwork. In hindsight, I should have closed the portal first. There he is. Kill him. The skeletons ran in. But with my new powers, I had the confidence to stand and fight. They had their upgraded bows. But with all the elements I had mastered, I was able to overwhelm them. Aha! Finally took some of you down. That's when I realized the bounty hunter just stood there. Uh, hi? I was given this unique crossbow and will use it to kill you. Of course. The hunter raised his crossbow and started shooting at me rapidly. Ah! I tried to get close, but the path wasn't wide enough to run around his attacks. I used my water element to turn more of the lava into obsidian. But as I did, another one of his crossbow bolts hit me. Gah! Uh, the skeletons fear you? For what? Any last words? Yeah, I'll close your door on the way out. Huh? Big Bro launched a large chunk of ice at the skeleton, which knocked him back into the nether portal. I quickly ran up and broke it. Phew, that was a close one. Thanks for the assist. Eh, uh, don't mention it. On day 60 to 63, we made it back to the ice web to see that it was now revived. I never thought I'd work together with a mob like you. You may now take your reward. I ran up and touched it. And as I did, I felt its elemental power start to overtake me. Ice began to fall all around me and the cold was starting to be overbearing. Ah, my heart, they are getting so low. I thought I was done for, but as I got down to one heart, the ice had merged within me and I upgraded again. I grew even stronger and now had 25 hearts with full mastery over the ice element. Oh yeah. My shout unleashed a new ice element out over the tundra. And because of this, it began to snow and the nearby area was completely healed. Our holds, they're so cold and perfect. With that, I looked over to the big golem. So what will you all do now? Haven't you watched over this web for centuries? Yes, yes we have. And now our watch has ended. Thank you and goodbye. All of the golems marched off into the tundra in a cute little line. Huh, what a nice little family. On days 64 to 68, I made it back to my base and saw that Charlotte and the other spiders made it safely too. Thank goodness. I quickly extended my cave home and made them their own rooms to sleep in. I even added extra webbing throughout to make them feel just at home. This is great. Thank you, Fozo. Of course. From there, I saw Marvin had a pile of bones in front of his house. Glad to see you've been busy. Oh boy, have I. This actually gives me an idea. I combined all the bones into one large bone just for Marvin. He looked at it like it was a buffet. <laughs> yes! As I admired my work, I was hit from behind. Ah! But as I spun around, no one was there. 
and on the ground was another note. Huh, probably from my stalker. I picked it up, and instead of words, it just had a set of coordinates. I better follow it. It looks like my number one fan wants to meet. I traveled until finally making it to the coordinates, but no one and nothing was there. Am I in the wrong place? Just then, I heard movement in the tree line all around me, and I was punched from the side. Gah! On day 69 to 73, I awoke in the middle of a strange hideout. Ah, my head! There, standing in front of me, was a ninja turtle? What the? After a second glance, I noticed this entire area was full of different peaceful mobs that were now hostile? This is so weird. Hey, you're weird. Look around you, bro. Us peaceful mobs had no choice but to weaponize ourselves. Really? Why? I followed the turtle until reaching a hill outside the hideout. In the distance was a field of skeletons testing their new mounts. The rest of my people. The skeletons had a bunch of different bows with various abilities. Why are you showing me this? The skeletons are growing more and more powerful each day, gathering and taking new resources. All of us lost our homes because of them. Well, I'm trying to. I know, I know. You're trying to take them down. That's why we followed you, bro. To help show you where the lightning web is. Otherwise, the skeleton takeover will be upon us very soon. Okay, well, where is it? Just then, a loud roar echoed in the sky. The turtle ran for cover. Hey, what are you doing? We looked up to see a vicious dragon flying overhead, which killed anything in sight. That, my dude, is the lightning dragon, and it is the key to the lightning web. On days 74 to 77, the two of us followed the lightning dragon from far below, but I could tell it knew something was up. Take cover! The two of us did, and thankfully, the dragon didn't spot us. Oh, thank goodness. This is as far as I can go. I will not go anywhere without my people. Continue to follow the dragon, and you will find that your web lies in its nest. Good luck. <laughs> No, wait! But he suddenly poofed away. Come on, I need backup! I followed far under the dragon until reaching a clearing at the foot of a very tall mountain. And there was lightning striking down all around it. His nest is up there, but how am I supposed to reach it? Or better yet, put up a fight against the thing. Just then, I heard the sound of crying? I looked over and inside a small little hole was a crying phantom. <laughs> <laughs> a, a spider? Oh god, this is embarrassing. I'm totally not crying. Stop lying, Ralph. You totally are. Why are you guys upset? Because we were once allowed to roam this forest's beautiful skies as we pleased. But since that lightning dragon came into the picture, it kills everything it sees, spider dude. <laughs> <laughs> huh, well, what if we team up? I want to take it down. On days 78 to 80, the phantoms flew me over the mountain. Just please don't drop me. What? Did you say drop you? Okay. No, 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 wait. Ah. Thankfully, I landed right into the dragon's nest. And there on the other side of it was the lightning web. <laughs> You really thought we were gonna drop you to your death? Dude, you should have seen the look on your face. Yeah, <laughs> good one, Reggie. Their laughter was cut short when we heard an intimidating... Oh no. We all looked up into the sky as the lightning dragon spotted us. It immediately began to spit out spews of lightning. Ah! Time to fight back. The phantoms took to the sky and tried to swoop in and hit the dragon when they could, while I was running around on the ground, shooting up my new ice spikes at it. Take this. The dragon was a very tough opponent though. My toughest yet. And unfortunately, he struck both of the phantoms down. Guys, no! I was now alone with a very upset lightning dragon. 
on days 81 to 85, he wasn't letting up. And the lightning strikes were now non-stop. I was getting lower and lower on hearts and knew I had to think fast. Wait, I think I have an idea. I began to use my ice element and focused it all around him. Within a few seconds, I had completely encased him in ice. Now, for phase two, with him held in place, I used my firewebs, which burned away the ice, but trapped the dragon. Aha, I did it. The dragon was getting burned all over. So he fled from the nest in defeat. Yeah, and stay out. You, you did it. Whoa, you guys survived. Well, enjoy your free skies again. Thank you, spider. They quickly flew up happily in the sky. And with that, I went over and touched the final elemental web. Because of this, I grew in size one final time. I now had 35 hearts and was a full-on elemental spider with mastery over the lightning element. I am so powerful. Rah! On days 86 to 90, I was heading back to my base when I came across a horde of skeletons and the Skull King. My king, it seems the bounty hunter failed his mission. The Skull King lashed out in rage, killing him. Can anyone do their job? Sir, we have located the elemental spider's base. Finally, some good news. We'll march out this instant. What about her? I looked over and saw that he pointed to a cage. Mom! I don't need her anymore. Finish her! The Skull King and his army marched off as a few skeletons were left to kill her. No! I ran out and used my new lightning elements to strike one of them down. Favozo? Get him! The others rushed in, but with all my newly found strength, I took them down with ease. Yes, I broke my mother out of her cage and we were finally reunited. Oh my boy, I'm so proud of you. Where are the others? Mom, they're okay. They're all back at my base. On days 91 to 94, my mother and I quickly made it back home where I saw that everything was in ruins. No. Fozo, stay focused. You have all the elements, right? Y yeah, why? Come with me. Me and my mother stood together at the center of my base. We can still weave together the elemental web, and with it, you can stop the Skull King. I just hope we aren't too late. What do I do? Focus on all of the elements you have mastered and weave them together as one. I listened to my mother's words and began to unleash my elements throughout the base. Elemental energy flowed around me and it all started to weave together. I knew that all of my friends needed me. In a flash, the elements combined into a beautiful elemental web. And because of this, me and my mother grew in size and were empowered by all of them at once. Yes, mom, look at you. You did it. Now we just need to find where they are. I heard a distant familiar echo. My vision. I know where they are. Time to take them down together. On days 95 to 99, my mom and I arrived at a horrifying sight. It's just like my vision, a battle-torn village. On one side was my friends and on the other, the army. Kill them all. No, I ran in to meet the charging army before they can get to my friends. Using all my elements I could, I was able to hold them back and take out groups at a time. Fozo, you're back. I'm here now. You're all okay. Wait, look. I turned to see that my spider people were being surrounded by skeleton warriors. Ha, your time is up, spiders. But before they could strike, my mother jumped in and took a warrior out with her her elements. Ha! <laughs> I could get used to this. What? No! Kill them! More and more of them flooded in as me and my mom were taking them out left and right until... Bozo! Behind you! She leapt in front of me and took a hit. Mom! I blasted the warrior back, taking him out in rage. No, uh, Mom. I'm all right, my boy. She's just a little tired. I think I need to rest a little. We'll take care of her, Fozo, while you take care of that. 
On day 100, I was now face to face with the Skull King. And the only one strong enough to fight him was me. I can't believe you. Why would you do this to my people? You were all simply a means to an end. And that end is me ruling you all. We began to fight as he would use his massive sword to cut me down every chance he could. He was stronger than anything I had ever faced, but I knew I had way too many people counting on me. I blasted him with my water, but he would just push right through and cut me down on hearts. Ah! Still just the weak little spider I saw all those days ago. I should have killed you the second I saw you. You think I'd go down that easily? With that, I used my earth element to crack open the earth, causing him to fall into a pit. I leapt down and used the opportunity to start covering him in my firewebs. They were starting to take hold. With the one last web, I had completely encased him. No! This can't be! I focused all of my elements on one final blast that took the Skull King down. And with that, my spider people can now finally live in peace.